Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to Musk vs. Man, a, a show, a comedy, a call to action, a political movement that requires our attention and focus. I'm Jordan, realtor, wannabe do-gooder, lifelong New Yorker from Brooklyn. Yeah, Brooklyn. Go Mets. Even though they're from Queens. Whatever. I dedicated this portion of my life to saving lives from distracted driving. Not bad, right? I mean, it could be worse. I could be some you know, well-off guy who doesn't want to do anything for anybody, right? In spite of this crazy time we're living in, I believe that each one of us has the capacity to change the world for the better. That's right. One person with the help of others can change the world. Ordinary people, like you or me. Some of you may already be making the world a better place, and I commend you. I'm, I may want to join forces with you to take on all these uh, brands of distraction. So what am I doing here? Is this some kind of filibuster? No. I'm not a lobbyist, I'm just making a appeal as a personal and fellow human being. The writing is on the wall in terms of distracted driving. It's alongside us on the road, it's in the radio and on television. I mean, it's there. How can we not feel it and absorb it? And some people have asked me, Jordan, of all the issues in the world, how could you get involved with distracted driving? Why is this your, you know, goal? What, what's your origin story? Do you have a loved one or anybody who has passed away from it? And the simple answer is, no, I do not. I have no tragic backstory. This is just one of my several areas of interest, and I hope that's okay. My quest is not fueled by personal grief, and why should it be? Should we only care about a thing if, you know, we are personally affected by it? No, of course not. And I'm not saying that there's anything bad about that. All the power to the people who raise money and awareness, drive research, and make real change who have been, you know, affected by the cause that they are championing. I'm just not that kind of guy. I've always had the sense of fairness. I do not like bullies or cheaters, and I do not like it when people are taken advantage of or marketed to in a way that puts themselves or others at risk. The point is that we have to be laser-like focused, stay on topic, and follow through if we are ever able to accomplish anything at all, let alone positive change. I'm here today, then, to shine a light on distracted driving. Check out DestructiveDriving.com and see what I've been up to. We as human beings are easily distracted. Some of us have the attention span of a cocker spaniel. We are living in distracted times, too. So it, you know, we live in this time of multitasking. And some of you may be checking your emails or texts while I speak. I don't know how you're doing it, but you may be doing it. You may not even realize what you're doing. No one is immune. I mean, I'm, I'm not immune either. None of us are. We're all distracted. And with millions of these thoughts running through our head, I am just simply asking that we pay attention to the road and all other distracted drivers around you that you have to deal with. Isn't that enough? This answer lies within. I'm going to call on a group effort to create individual change. Every one of us needs to change and do something to improve our own driving on the road and our struggles against distractions, especially when we are driving in the car. We all have our own idiosyncratic ways of coping. Do we keep our cell phones, you know, in the back seat, or out of plain sight? Or are we just too distracted to put down the phone, even at red lights? Absolute effing lootly we are. And I think maybe we are. We, we just cannot trust ourselves. And what makes matters worse is powerful forces are spending marketing money vying for attention. And each distraction is an opportunity to some, for somebody to sell us something to varying degrees it makes us all dysfunctional while we drive. That's why I've chosen myself and my resources to start in this conversation. Because let's face it, somebody has to do this. I'll be the self-appointed czar against distracted driving, trying to create all these conversations and move us forward, trying to find some solution. And, but this issue needs a billion dollar effort. And I'm hoping with somebody that somebody with deeper pockets will be move to step in my shoes and lead the way to safer, less distracted driving. In the event of my death, which I hope is not by a distracted driver, I will have instructed my executor to take out full-page ads in the major publications, newspapers, and other media companies warning against the perils of distracted driving. And I understand this may seem excessive or over the top, but somebody has to start this conversation that we are a part of with the rest of America. It's a bipartisan issue. This is something we could all get behind with citizens, as citizens, but 
none, none of these issues can be talked about without discussing the elephant in the room. Elon Musk built his electric car company, Tesla, around the problems that it represented the future of driving. However, Musk has been intentionally tone deaf to the epidemic of distracted driving. In fact, he has created his entire, power, his entire empire disempowering drivers from the road and having to pay attention. Why are we giving up on man's ability to be a safer, more effective driver than a robot? Have we really thrown in the towel on being for mankind to be better than technology? Should we really give up control of our own fate so that Elon Musk and others should profit? Why? Because he says so? Have we really become this lazy? Tesla has this feature called ludicrous mode, which, you know, it sounds like a, an energy drink, but it allows the Tesla go, to go from zero to 60 miles per hour without making a sound. It's innovations like these that have allowed Tesla and Forbes to call Elon Musk the richest man on the planet. And I would also add the greatest champion of distracted driving the world has ever seen. How can Elon Musk talk about Mars and space exploration when he doesn't even know what's happening or frankly care what's happening on Route 22 here on Earth? The way to save lives is through changing our behavior. That is how we stop distracted driving, or what I think should be called destructive driving because it is much worse than being distracted when results are lost lives and broken hearts. The way to stop destructive driving is to put down your phone when you're driving. It's just that simple. Put down your effing phone. Shut out all the distractions competing for your attention and disposable income. Just drive. And I know that is easy to conceptualize and even harder to do, but it can and should be done because it is the safe, responsible thing to be done. Musk has shown no interest in any of this. He's the billionaire promoter of distracted driving. He has built his wealth and reputation on the promise of the self-driving car. Musk lives for the day when a Tesla can drive itself, which now seems to be turning out to be further and further away than his previous estimates. Over and over, Musk has declared that the future of driving cars of truly autonomous vehicles are here. Here's another quote of his. My guess is to when we should think it is safe for somebody to essentially fall asleep behind the wheel and wake up at their destination would probably be towards the end of the year. I would say I am certain of that. That is not a question mark. Musk said that in 2019. He has repeatedly extolled the virtues of autopilot, leading drivers to falsely believe that it is safe to keep their eyes off the road. His own experts and advisors have told him he is creating a false understanding of what engineers at Tesla called advanced supported driving. Tesla at one point was worth more than Toyota, Honda, BMW, Volkswagen, Mercedes, Ford, and General Motors combined. And today, delays, lawsuits, and unexplained crashes have put a damper on the company's recent performance and cast doubt on the future of advanced supported driving. Tesla also uses car owners as test drivers without full transparency, consent, or training, knowingly putting their drivers at risk until software develops, is, until their software updates are developed. However, there remains a fundamental lack of transparency as to what the car's auto-driving capabilities are. For example, some Teslas perform better in neighborhoods where there are more Tesla owners and overcast days. Go figure. Well, we should probably dig into utilitarianism, which at first I asked, what the heck was that? I thought I had to do something with paying my electric bill, but I looked it up and Musk tries to use this philosophy to speak to the greatest good for the greatest amount of people. but. The ethics of his philosophy are questionable. Others are being sacrificed for the greater good. Utilitarianism, or whatever it's called, is not a free-for-all. There, there is a process of balance for which Musk is not obeying. His mountains of data and safety statistics or regarding their so-called autopilot features compares all miles for regular cars to highway miles for Teslas. I mean, are you kidding me? What about stop-and-go traffic, which most of us travel in? Hello? Musk continues to miss the big picture. And every single step has been a messed up. He's ignoring advice from his own experts, regulators, and everybody who's got any right thing to say. Why not take a little bit of corporate responsibility and say, pay attention, people. It's long overdue. From December 2020 to December 2021, Tesla came up with a conscious decision to give drivers the option to play a game on a touchscreen in their vehicle while it's in motion. Drivers need to be pay attention, need to be paying attention to the road, not playing solitaire or any other games. The prompt comes up and asks you if you're driving. You can just simply answer no while on autopilot and do it hands-free. And again, the autopilot, which we have said multiple times because Tesla's own engineers have said it, 
is not what it does because it is just advanced supportive driving. A whistleblower has a forced Tesla to acknowledge this, and they had 500,000 cars remove Solitaire off their software instead of a physical recall. You ever heard of phantom uh, braking in Teslas? Google it. It's a serious problem where an advanced driver assistance system just applies the brakes for no reason. That is serious. Real people's lives are in danger. And an alarming number of incidents with this system are building an evidence file that demonstrates dangerous business practices. I am not affiliated with any nonprofit or government regulatory agency. I'm just a ordinary citizen like all of you who shares the vision of safer roads. And I believe that automakers like Elon Musk bear direct responsibility for creating dangerous situations for drivers. The controversial autopilot feature is anything but fully autonomous or foolproof. Quite the opposite real meaning of such. Vehicles cannot be trusted to navigate and brake safely without human intervention. So, we need to also understand that loyal customers should not be compelled to take part in experiments and engage with a flawed product. They do not deserve to be a trillion dollar industry's guinea pigs. These problems all seem to stem from Musk's reckless rhetoric and attempt to oversell the capabilities of the Tesla. Other automakers are following through with that game plan. His technologies are not as advertised, and human beings have been injured or killed because of these flaws. His business decisions are hurting and endangering real people. It's time for him and others to acknowledge we're not in 2039. It's 2023. We have got a serious problem with destructive driving. It's time for Elon to step up and be an honorable and respectful citizen, which is never, ever too late to do so. Accident statistics are up. People are driving impaired and distracted more than ever before. We're living during a global pandemic of distracted driving. Tesla's uh, products, they, they, they cater to distracted drivers in ways that make the problem worse. I'm publicly inviting Musk to discuss his responsibility to prioritize automobile and road safety above all other considerations regarding his technological experiments. My appeal to him is simple. Acknowledge and fix this mess. Prove that you are able to be relied upon for people's lives. Start by donating $100 for every one of the vehicles installed with Solitaire and create a fund to educate every driver to the realities that we need to pay attention to the road. That investment of $50 million would go a long way to demonstrate some personal responsibility and awareness of this issue. Elon and all other CEO of car companies, I hope you're willing to reflect on your mistakes and work towards a real commitment to road safety. Make your vehicle safer by removing distractions from the cockpit and encouraging discipline behind the wheel. Those steps can help to reduce distracted driving rather than adding to the problem. It's time for manufacturers to focus their efforts on figuring out how to protect humans driving around in their cars. They deserve to arrive safely at their destinations. This is what we know. Human error will always exist, and the ability of humans to detect Risks will always be flawed, but that ability to get better at it is superior to any existing technology claiming to do it better than the human brain and senses. The reward for good driving should be plain and simple. The chance to love your loved ones and to hug your loved ones and the opportunity to drive another day. Is that not ludicrous to ask for?